chose this uh, practice uh, because as all of you know that uh, biodiversity loss is a uh, one of the primary reason uh, uh, for today's global problem and this is uh, mostly uh, happened due to many anthropogenic factor uh, northeast india is also one of the richest uh, in terms of biodiversity uh, and uh, but the problem is that uh, most of us uh, do not know about biodiversity in our backyard or in our uh, some nearby areas. So this uh, practice uh, aims to involve people uh, in a more, much more citizen science perspective in documenting uh, biodiversity in cotton campus uh, and thereby not only they will uh, document the biodiversity of this uh, institution but also we will be able to generate long-term data, right? Because uh, in most of the cases, for example, in climate change, we need long-term of, uh, of data to detect any signature of climate change. Perhaps this kind of a uh, initiative involving students from other departments, not only from the science and also the general public in, uh, in documenting and uh, collecting data on biodiversity component is very, very critical um, for our understanding of global issues like climate change. Uh, and the third is also <coughs> to encourage people to appreciate the nature. So thereby, if uh, people know about uh, nature and their uh, unique characteristics, perhaps they will be much more uh, vocal about uh, uh, in terms of uh, their conservations, right? So that's the main motive and these are the objectives of this uh, practice. Uh, usually biodiversity or wildlife related subjects are not the core subjects. And through this practice, what we are also planning to do is to mainstream biodiversity. So, this is uh, biodiversity studies should be uh, should be uh, say learned by not only the uh, students from the science science uh, stream, but also students from across different uh, discipline. So that's why we started something called the uh, a value added course, which aligning with the NEP 2020. So it's called the Learning with Nature understanding our environment so we have started this course uh, and uh, so far uh, more than 150 students from various department of the university have enrolled for this course. Hi, I'm Alangrita Nath from the English department and I had this course Learning with Nature in my first semester and I'm here to share just how much of an amazing experience it was for me. I have learned to better connect with nature, to find peace and tranquility just around us with the greens, with the birds, with the animals, our professor was one of the most passionate people I've ever come across who, have inspi who has inspired so much love and so much drive for, for protecting what we already have to conserve our nature, our natural world and maintain our origins with the greenery. And ever since then, I have felt a newfound confidence and reassurance that if ever, if ever something were going on in my life, Amidst the chaos, I can come back and relax and find my peace right here, right where the trees are, right where the greens are, right where the birds are. And I think that's such a wonderful thing to have. I wish for everyone to be able to reconnect with nature. And if they can, take this course because amazing experience. And in terms of long term, uh, say, uh, data collection, we have uh, we have started something uh, something like the campus bird count, so which is now in the ninth year of its uh, inception. So everywhere uh, between uh, in February, so we collect uh, bird uh, occurrence data uh, in the campus. Uh, so for it, it is a four-day event, um, which is particip uh, participated by students from different departments, and and moreover, it is also open to public. So we so far we have collected data uh, on uh, bird species which are both resident birds, migratory birds and the flyover birds. So we have a now uh, have a list of birds which are found in cotton campus which were which are the birds which were found earlier which are not uh, seen anymore which are the birds which uh, we uh, haven't seen earlier but start uh, appearing now. 
so the second uh, uh, long term uh, work or project that uh, we are doing under this practice is the phenology uh, monitoring so we have already finished uh, documenting the tree species of uh, the campus and uh, uh, we are now in the process of selecting uh, the few selected species uh, based on their proportion uh, and we are, we are going to monitor their phenophages like uh, the arrival of fresh leaves, the, the appearance of the flowers, the appearance of the fruits weekly, on a weekly basis for, for a long term. Uh, but all this will involve students from different departments and in fact uh, some of these are also uh, part of our syllabus. So, uh, so there is a very nice uh, alignment with our concept uh, of long-term planning and uh, uh, which is there in the syllabus and apart from this we are regularly doing uh, documenting say, biodiversity so for example we have uh, done uh, say uh, spider walk uh, so we have documented more than 20 species in the campus this is the second side of this so tatyo uh, puts spiders there is a spider called cairo uh, so we've also done butterfly work, so we've documented uh, butterflies of the campus and uh, we have also <coughs> uh, done something called the tree work where uh, people uh, both from public as well as the students of the university, uh, they take a deep part and document the, uh, say we, we try to understand the, uh, row, uh, the trees and we, we are also trying to understand uh, their role. Uh, in the ecosystem so so these are some of the steps that uh, we have taken in order to uh, say uh, uh, create awareness and raise a kind of a appreciation and perhaps in the long-term conservations of trees in the campus so apart from this we have uh, uh, organized several workshops several talks several uh, interactive sessions uh, in the in the last uh, uh, eight years so with the sole aim of say uh, not only uh, say students uh, listen to the some of the faculties in the department but also they get some of the exposures uh, from the experts in different field uh, of from India as well as from the abroad and there are uh, we can uh, proudly say that we have also uh, been invited uh, to conduct Similar, sim, similar exercise elsewhere. For example, we have done uh, the bird watching session in uh, uh, in a national event, and uh, there are a lot of uh, successful uh, stories uh, of people going from this department and pursuing, uh, uh, say, career in uh, wildlife elsewhere. Some of the students are also, uh, say, uh, in enrolled for PhDs. Uh, in abroad as well. We are extremely happy that the Department of uh, EBWS of Cotton University, particularly Dr. Narayan Sarma, uh, who has been working on the issue of biodiversity conservation as well as doing some cutting edge research on this issue, focusing on the Brahmaputra Valley and the surrounding region. It is not only that these issues are or topics are being researched, but also there is an attempt to bring these subjects close to the public. Our future plan is that we will continue observing birds in the campus and we will continue observing this tree phenologies and uh, perhaps we will also start working on some of the lesser known species for example uh, ants uh, in that case so we are also trying to document all the ant species which are found in the campus and perhaps we will try to find out some of the uh, tree species which are very very critical for uh, the uh, the survival of uh, the biodiversity within the campus so that the Cotton University can be uh, not only uh, uh, excel in terms of academics 
but also we can have a extremely uh, green buildings and green campus where uh, the people and the wildlife can coexist together.